session we'll be moving towards the concept of your panel so we already learned that in a previous session like how we have to use panel what is the purpose behind that to work on the panel and you can use all those things series list your data frames to work on the panel so today we'll be moving towards directly in a notebook you can observe that already we are in a jupyter notebook so with the help of jupyter notebook how we have to create a panel so the first thing we are moving towards to create a panel so we'll go with create a panel so for that the two things it's important we have to import pandas as well as numpy the reason behind that with the help of numpy we can go with the list your series then you have your data frames we have tuples dictionaries whatever you want in the further things you can use it. so start importing import numpy as np as well as we need a pandas to use the panel import so we run that after that the main important thing we have to go with the creation of array so now you have an option you can create with the help of list with the help of your tuples series data frames so now we are first we are thinking to create a values with a random values with some matrixes so let's start with that so we just don't want to store it the things in a data so i'm just going with data equals to just a variable name and then because we have to create with the data things and all in our array versions we have to go with the np because in the numpy basically numpy is used for that purpose that's the reason we import it so np dot random this is we already discussed it in when we are learning about numpy what is the use of random things so i just repeat it and i summarize which this is nothing but just where you wanted the random values from the compiler, from the user, we use this method random dot rand run, and inside that it's depend upon you. You have to go with how many rows and column. Suppose I need two comma four, so it will be a two cross four matrix. If you want three cross three matrix, you can continue with three cross three matrix. If you want a four cross four matrix, you can continue with a four comma four matrix. How many you want? Suppose I need it uh, three, you can go with three, you can go with four, so I'll go with the four. So this is uh, done with the values. Now, the main thing, so data is done, we store it this particular. So we see first how it will be. So suppose print and then we just want to print the data because we want to see uh, is it already stored or not. So print and then inside that data, TATA -T -A data, when you run, you can get that. This is what we have to cross four uh, like matrices how we want it and the thing four cross four matrices and how we are wanting in the two values. So if you want more values, you can continue with the more values. That's fully your wish what you wanted. So now I need it in the panel way. So for the panel, mostly we use P as a variable name, but it's just your wish. You can use your name also in a variable name. For the easiest way to understand, we use for P as a variable name and then go with the PD because we are using the pandas methods. So go with the alias name of pandas PD dot your panel. Now, this is the method P A N E L. Remember that P will be capital. So we are going with the PD dot panel when we run this. So it's run properly. Let's move to print it, what it's created or not, just see that. So print of T, you can observe that it's already printed in a proper way, which shows a panel object at 0, x, 0, 0, the address object it's given. So this is how we have to create our panel in a panda. So now you can observe that we are using panel, it's working, but it gives a warning that feature warning the panel class is removed from pandas. Accessing uh, it from the top level namespace will be removed from the next version of the pd.panel. The thing was here what happened when you use a new version of your Python because we are using the new version. So it's removed it, but it is working normally, but sometime it will be giving you only. So what you have to do, you have to install it. So uh, if you remember that, like previous session, I already explained you like how you have to go into install it just to pip install. You have to go through that. So you have to go to the command prompt, then you have to move to the already in a this. So you can observe that it's uh, already successfully installed it. So I just start with this. So just pip install the panel. When I go with this, my installation is already done successfully. Uh, building the bucket. So all these things are done. So when you install properly, this thing still it is running. So that time what happened, your panel will be installed. See, this is what it's installing now. Successfully install panel to the token. 
so my panel is already installed i will show you once again now it will show panel install sorry pip install panel so if i do once again it will be show already it's installed let's see you should not consider upgradation once because already it says done upgradation pip command so already my panel is installed so just check your version so if anyhow you have this issues and already you have you are using any upper version so go with installation there if you won't go with the installation then you will face some issues so install it my installation is done now later when i continue with this thing i will not face this issue then because i already go with the thing so i will not face this problem in a further so this is the reason why we use this particular things why you install so this is what how we have to use the panel how to create it so normally you can use the random values as well to use that inside the panel or if you don't want the normal value you can create a list as well like list equals to your one two three four five and you can run and you can observe that you can use this to just to go with the list thing and you can continue with your things with the panel so the same way you can inside the panel you can work on that so this is how we have to work on the panel with the list tuple strings or uh, you will go with your uh, data frame so now depend upon you how you have to moving towards to that so this is the reason we use a panel to create a panel in a pandas directly and use it for the further uses